Those things are awful. I hate both of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that movie doesn't exist. Speaking of jokes, the Joker movie is getting a sequel. Speaking Same of movies way. that don't exist. <laughs> So the Joker made a billion dollars. The first rated R movie made a billion dollars on a what? Eighty? How many? Eighty I million? Was, I think it was eighty million. Eighty million dollar budget made a billion dollars at the box office. My, and it's not even including China. Eighty billion. Eighty million dollar. Budget? Eighty million dollar budget. Budget. Man, I thought it was like forty five or something like that. Well, no. I mean, we're probably counting uh, marketing, marketing, and all oh, okay. that stuff. Whatever, it's all good. It's still good. Yeah, a billion I dollars. Mean, that's crazy amount of money for a movie like this, like a, a like a basically yeah. just taxi driver type so, movie. So, first of all, uh, that's without the Chinese box office. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's without an expanded cinematic universe th- that it's set in. It's without Batman for the most yeah. part. Yeah, and uh, it was with every mainstream media press outlet telling people that not, this was the, yeah. the most violent movie ever and that you're taking your life <laughs> you go to this into your movie, own hands. you're going to murder people. Yeah. Or, 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 <laughs> or be get murdered. murdered. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like you're gonna, if you yeah. go to see this movie, someone will shoot up your theater and you will die. Yeah. Like that's so what, dumb. that's literally what they were saying. That is so crazy to me and that yet, they were so against this movie. And yet it movie. became this huge success and none of them are talking about it. Yeah. None of them. It's such a weird thing. I don't know why they were so against this movie to begin with. I, I don't. It, I don't it, understand it. It's just, I, I it's mean, like a low key, like noir esque Scorsese movie. Like, why would they? Be, why would they hate be, on that? Because it doesn't fit their it doesn't their fit narrative. The, the social narrative right now. Yeah, yeah but Charles Angels does, not it didn't make squat. That's because people <laughs> don't like those yeah. kind of movies. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm sure we'll talk about that. We are a little bit. Yeah. Segway. Segway. <laughs> but uh, no, the but Ed, because of this billion dollar. Uh, because of this billion dollar box office that this thing pulled in uh wb literally cannot turn their head away from giving this guy a sequel which i don't think he wanted to do in the first place but they're probably mm, like hey yeah. uh, uh this made a billion dollars let's let's uh let's make another one we could probably get at least 700 million out of the next one right <laughs> it doesn't even have to be good <laughs> so <laughs> people will just show up <laughs> so th- th- there's an interesting interesting aspect to the story yeah, give so me some give me some uh what's that what do you call it some context no the uh the Inside baseball. Inside baseball. Yeah. Okay. So this morning, the morning of this podcast, as we're recording, news breaks that on the in the Hollywood Reporter that Warner Brothers somehow got the bright idea to greenlight a sequel to the Joker movie, and they basically said that uh, Todd Phillips, the guy who co-wrote and directed the Joker, uh, wants to do a sequel with uh, Joaquin Phoenix, who has apparently agreed to do it, and in addition to that. Warner's is also giving him the rights to, I guess, one or two other uh, comic book characters to do a similar origin type story to. Now, w- when that news broke, you know, everyone on the internet went crazy. But then Deadline came out literally an hour after that story broke on The Hollywood Reporter and said, this is bull crap. It, it's not happening. <laughs> what? Nobody greenlit this. Yeah. Uh, Todd Phillips does not want to do a sequel. This is fake news. And so you have these two competing very big industry papers, Hollywood Reporter and Deadline, uh, putting out conflicting uh, uh, information about whether or not Joker 2 is actually going to happen. Wow. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, all it, I saw it, it was the Hollywood. Happened. Yeah. All I heard was the Hollywood Reporter. And I, like, haven't, I haven't been on Twitter since. I remember when me and Matt, I went and watched the Joker with Matt. And when we went, when we were walking out of there, I go, man, wouldn't it be cool if they like did like some deep, weird dive into like all the Batman villains like this. But now that I think about it, I don't know if I want to see that. Yeah. I, I, do I really want to have a deep dive into the psychosis of, uh, you know, Killer Croc? Oh, well, <laughs> I, or somebody I mean, like that, you know, it's like, eh, I don't know. It's just you like, know, the, the, <laughs> the Gotham City that was created for the Joker movie was, was so incredible. Yeah. That, you know, when, when, when we came out and we were talking about that, my idea for it was, okay, you have the Joker. The next movie should be called Bruce. And it's about that kid growing up to become Batman. And then the third movie, it's Batman versus the Joker. All set in that like grimy uh, yeah. 1980s style. Uh, well, it wouldn't be the 80s anymore, city. though, huh? It'd be like well, early it, 2000s. It, it, it wouldn't, but like you can not you can make it feel, Yeah, you can, you can make, make it feel it that feel way. Consistent. And, and, but that, that, that city, that Gotham City in, in the Joker movie was just so Batman year one from Frank Miller. Uh, that it was, it was just it was fantastic. I I loved being in that world uh, while I was watching that movie. And if if they can do more kind of Batman stories set in that universe, I would be one hundred percent on board for it. So I um, I would much rather see this Batman than 
Um, the sparkly Batman? No, then, you know, the Justice League, Batman versus Superman, Batman. Ooh, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Yeah. The Segway. The Snyder, <laughs> Snyder, the Snyder Batman. Batfleck. So, Batfleck. Batfleck. Well, so I, uh, when I was in Chicago, we were, having that, we were hosting that podcast at a comic book store. And after I was done, we packed up everything. I'm like, before I leave. 